Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to Office 365 Concepts. This is the ninth video of Microsoft Intune series. In the last video, we discussed how to enroll a personally owned Windows 11 machine using company portal. In this particular video, we will learn how to auto enroll hybrid Azure AD joined Windows machine using group policy. We will discuss what are the prerequisites that need to be met. We will learn how to create group policy for auto enrollment, and we will verify the enrollment process from the machine and from the Microsoft Endpoint Manager. If you have a device that is already hybrid Azure AD joined, you can enroll that device to Microsoft Intune so that you can manage and control that device from Endpoint Manager. You can deploy or remove applications on that device from Endpoint Manager. You can apply conditional access policies. You can wipe the device. So in nutshell, when a device is enrolled in Intune, you can have a complete control over that device from Endpoint Manager. If you are new to Hybrid Azure AD Join feature, I have uploaded a complete series for Azure AD and have discussed hybrid Azure AD joint feature in detail. I will share the link in description of that video and you can go through it. But for this demo, just understand that when a device is joined with on-premise Active Directory and is registered with Azure AD as well, that device is called hybrid Azure AD joint device. There are multiple ways to enroll a hybrid Azure AD joint device to Microsoft Intune. You can use group policy to enable auto enrollment, or you can use Windows Autopilot with the help of a connector to enroll hybrid Azure AD joint devices to Microsoft Intune. But for this particular demo, we will create a group policy in on-premise Active Directory so that we can automate the enrollment process for hybrid Azure AD joint devices. So before you proceed with this process, you need to meet certain prerequisites. You need to make sure that you have hybrid Azure AD joint deployed in your tenant and your devices should be reflecting in Azure AD as hybrid Azure AD joint devices. So to verify this, you can go to Azure Active Directory. You can go to devices, all devices. And here we can see one device is showing as hybrid Azure AD joint device and same thing can be verified from the machine itself if you'll go to the windows machine that is hybrid azure ready joined and if you go to command prompt in command prompt you can run ds reg cmd slash status hit enter now here we can see it says azure ad joined yes and domain joined yes that means this particular device is joined with your on-premise active directory and this is the domain name for your on-premise ad as well as it is registered with azure active directory also and the next prerequisite for enrolling hybrid azure ad joint device is the version of operating system if you're using windows 10 you need to make sure the version of the operating system is 1709 or later. You can verify the version from here. You can go to run, type here WinWR, hit enter, and this will show you the version of the operating system. Next, you need to verify if auto enrollment is enabled in your Microsoft Intune tenant. So let's go to Endpoint Manager. You will go to Devices. Under devices, you will go to Windows because we are enrolling the Windows device. And under Windows devices, you will go to Windows enrollment. And here you will click automatic enrollment. If you're watching this series from the beginning, we have already discussed this and we have already configured this. So from here, you can control the auto enrollment of devices in your tenant. If you select none, that means no one will be able to enroll device in your tenant. Some is for groups, a group of the users. 
all means for all of the users auto enrollment is configured in your tenant. So either you can select some or all as per your business requirement and make sure MAM user scope is set to none. So we have verified this also. So with this, we have met all the prerequisites. Now the next step is we need to create a group policy in our local Active Directory. So go to your domain controller and here go to group policy management. Now first we will create a group policy and then we will link that particular group policy to an OU or organizational unit where our machines are stored. Now if we go to users and computers, So in my on-premise environment, I have created one folder or one OU with name synced and the device that is hybrid Azure AD joined. This device is placed inside this OU. So I will create a group policy and then I will link that group policy to this OU. So let's go back to group policy management. Now here what you will do, right click on group policy object, click new. Give it a name, for example, hybrid auto enroll GPO. For example, you can give it any name. Click OK. Next, you need to expand group policy objects. Under this, you will find the GPO that you just created. Right click on it, click edit. And here, let me expand it. Under computer configuration, you will expand policies, administrative templates, Windows components, and then look for MDM. Under MDM folder, you will see one group policy that says enable automatic MDM enrollment using default Azure AD credentials. Double click on this policy, enable this policy, and where it says select credential type to use, here you will see two options device credential or user credential. You will select user credential. Click apply. Click OK. So this GPO is created. Now the next step is we will link this particular group policy with the OU where our device is stored and the OU is synced. So let's go back to group policy management. Let's close this window. Now here you can see this OU synced where our device is stored. You will right click on this OU and then click link an existing GPO. Now here you will select the GPO that you just created hybrid auto enroll GPO and click OK. So this particular GPO is linked with this OU. Now let's go to the machine the Windows 10 machine and in command prompt. We will type GP update slash force so that this group policy can be replicated immediately. So the group policy has been completed. Now let's run DSREG CMD slash status hit enter. We might have to restart this machine, but let's give it a try. So here we can see MDM URL, MDM2 URL and MDM compliance URL. So looks like this machine is enrolled to Microsoft Intune. Now let's go to Endpoint Manager, Windows, Windows, Windows Devices. Let's refresh the page. This is not yet enrolled. Let's go back to machine and let's restart this machine. And let's go to settings. In settings, go to accounts, access work or school. And here we can see this on-premise account 
And we can see info option here as well. That means this device is enrolled with Microsoft Intune. You can see this sync option. You can synchronize your device from here with your endpoint manager. And from here, you can create diagnostic report as we have discussed in previous sessions. Now, one thing I missed to inform you that during the prerequisites or during meeting the prerequisites, there is one prerequisite when you enroll hybrid Azure AD joint devices with your Microsoft Intune, the user account that you will be using in Windows machine, that particular account should be synchronized to Azure Active Directory. Go to domain controller in users and computers. For my scenario, I have this account hybrid user that I'm using to log in in this machine in Windows 10 machine and same account is synchronized to Azure Active Directory. In users, you can see here hybrid user. This is the account that is synchronized from on-premise AD and this account has enterprise mobility plus security E5 license assigned and this license has Microsoft Intune plan one service included. So I missed to inform you this. So this is one of the prerequisites. Now, after this, let's go to devices. We have verified the configuration from machine. Now let's go to devices, all devices. So here we can see this hybrid Azure AD joint device. Honor is hybrid user. MDM says Microsoft Intune. Compliance says yes. Now let's go to Endpoint Manager, Devices, All Devices, Windows. And here as well, let me verify the display name. It's 9NK. 9NK. So it says Ownership Corporate, Compliance, Compliant, Operating System, Windows. Now if you remember in one of the previous videos, we created a security group for corporate devices. Since this is a corporate device, the ownership is corporate. So this particular device should be added in that particular security group. So go to groups. And this is the group that we created corporate on Windows device. If you want to verify the dynamic rule, so it says device ownership equals company, companies for the corporate devices and device operating system equals Windows. So that means any Windows machine that has device ownership as corporate, that particular device will be added in this group. Let's go to members. And here we can see 9NK, this device is added in this group. Now let's go back to device properties in Endpoint Manager. So from here, you can check the attributes. From here, you can check the properties of this device. Now let me show the compliance policy. Go to device compliance. And here you can see Windows 10 corporate device compliance policy is added to this machine, this one. And if you check device configuration profile, this is also added to this hybrid user. Apart from this, if you want to synchronize this device, go to device properties, click on sync, click yes, and this device will synchronize with Microsoft Endpoint Manager. In the next video, we will learn how to add and deploy applications on Windows devices. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.